Today's episode of Backstage with Hashtag RDM is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash backstage. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, or MP3 player. That's audibletrial.com forward slash backstage. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on iTunes. You're backstage with Hashtag RDM on Radio Random Network. Now, here's the host, Hashtag RDM, Russell Devin McLean. Welcome to Backstage with Hashtag RDM right here on the Radio Random Network. I am Hashtag RDM, Russell Devin McLean, your host, And I want to thank you so much for hitting the play button on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher Radio, SoundCloud, or wherever you're listening to the show from. On with me today is country music hit maker and piano powerhouse, Mr. Phil Vassar. That's right, Phil's going to be here talking about the No Filter Tour. Working with Hunter Hayes, and he also talks about LSU football, believe it or not. But with all of that said, let's get down to a little business. I want to send a shout out to Mr. Scott Atkins of Webster Public Relations for hooking us up with Mr. Phil Vassar today. I also want to thank each and every one of you who retweeted, shared, and liked and spread the word about Phil Vassar being on the show today on social media and on Twitter. And I want to send shout outs to Miss Jody Ritter at BLKathy123 at KT Liberty Girl. And everyone else who retweeted us last night about Phil Vassar. I even want to send a shout out to Phil Vassar for all the retweeting and promoting he done for us. We can also find us on Facebook and that's, uh, facebook.com forward slash radio random network. Brand new Twitter for backstage with hashtag RDM. You can follow us there at backstage underscore rdm and if you're interested in supporting radio random network to keep our weekly shows free for all of our listeners just simply go to www.radiorandomnetwork.com you'll find a link to our patreon account you will find links to all of our sponsors such as amazon every time you use amazon using our link which is www.radiorandomnetwork forward slash amazon They kick a little bit of money back to us for production costs, web hosting, and whatnot at no extra cost to you. You can also get a 30-day free trial and a free audio book download for your iPhone, Kindle, and MP3 player by visiting www.audibletrial.com forward slash backstage. I also got a brand new thing that I'm helping promote. It's uh it features Mr. Ronnie McDowell who has been on the show many times. It's called the Nothing But the Hits Tour. And uh you can find more information about that all in the show notes. And by the way, all the links we talk about here today can be found in the show notes and description. I want to send a shout out to Mr. Kurt Webster who has helped us with guests and 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 get he, he's helped with all kind of stuff. He's a great guy. He he's one of Nashville's heavy hitters. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to call him a friend. Last night he was surprised when the NATD honored Webster Public Relations and Kurt Webster with the Board of Directors Award. Good job, Kurt. Thank you so much. We all love you with all of that said. I was telling you about the Nothing But The Hits Tour. Here's a little bit about it right here. And when we come back, I'm going to be joined by the man himself, uh, Mr. Phil Vassar. Without you. The Nothing But The Hits Christmas Tour, starring Ronnie McDowell and Friends, is a one-of-a-kind show you don't want to miss. Twenty of the music industry's most talented artists and musicians will take the stage in 16 of America's greatest cities in the Nothing But The Hits Tour. See multi-million selling artists like Ronnie McDowell. Older women are beautiful lovers. I said older women they understand Plus, Jeff Bates. Start with some kisses. Ken Mellons. Oh, I'm just an old jukebox junkie. And Deborah Allen. The baby I like when I told you I could walk away. Plus, Amber Hayes, Tia Goins, Mandy Barnett. Nadira Shakur, 
and Tommy Cash will do a tribute to his brother, one of the greatest country legends of all time, Johnny Cash. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went high. Don't miss the Nothing But The Hits Christmas Tour, starring Ronnie McDowell and Friends, and featuring some of the greatest icons of country music. For a tour schedule, artist lineup, and ticket information for your city, just go to nothingbutthehits.com and click on Tour Schedule and Ticket Information. And be sure to like Nothing But The Hits on Facebook. Blue, blue, blue Christmas. This is Radio Random Network. Find us on the web at www.radiorandomnetwork.com. All right, joining me today on Backstage with hashtag RDM right here on the Radio Random Network, I'm talking to the piano madman himself. He is country <laughs> music hit maker, Mr. Phil Vassar. Phil, how are you doing today, bud? I'm doing great. You sound like you're in an awful good mood today. I like that. I'm always in a good mood, man. You know, it's almost like a dream to sit here and I get to talk to guys like like you and and T G Shepherd and T Grant Brand. It's all my faith. I'm a musician myself, and I get to talk to all my influences all the time. So I'm always in a great mood. Well, heck, I need a bad job to have it all. Then no, any job sir. that you like to do is a good job. That's 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 for sure. Yes, indeed. Well, Phil, first and foremost, what I want to do is tell you that, you know, I've always been a fan of your music. We happened to catch you at the 40th anniversary Volunteer Jam in Nashville a couple of months ago. Oh, yeah, that was fun. My man, when you stormed the stage, you stormed the stage. And I tell you what, that was, you were probably one of the best in my book now. You were probably one of the best acts there. And uh, we appreciate the good time you gave us that night. Oh, it was a lot of fun, you know, and Get to hang out with Charlie. You know, we've done so many things together over the years, and I just love that man. And he uh, he's always doing something great for, for the community. And, and, you know, whenever he asks you to, if you'd be part of something, I, I mean, I can't say yes quick enough with that guy. You know, he's just that kind of man, you know. I love him. Well, let's talk a little bit about the No Filter Tour, my friend. Tonight, y'all are at the Grand Ole Opry in yes, we are. Nashville, Tennessee. And for those of you out there listening to me right now, you can actually listen live at the Opry by going to Opry.com or just go to PhilVassar.com and click on tours. But with all that said, That's right. give us a little insight on what it's like to play the Opry stage, Phil. You know, it's back at the Ryman, so that even is, is even more fun. You know, it's like it's back where it all began downtown. And, you know, the uh, the Grand Ole Opry stage out at Opryland is it's a lot bigger, a lot more spacious, a lot uh you know, it's a lot newer and a lot cooler, but, I mean, <laughs> it's not as vibey as the Ryman. I mean, there's nothing like playing the Ryman. I just love, uh, you know, going there where it all began. And, and um, you know, it's one of the greatest sounding rooms in the whole world. It's like playing in church. And and uh, you could just cut all the stuff off and just play like like they used to, you know, with just acoustic instruments. And it would just sound as as, uh, as amazing as it does when, with, the, with the PA system on. Yes, indeed. Well, let's go back just real quick. Can you give us a little insight on when you decided to become a country music star? You know what? I just, I always loved, I always loved Nashville. I always loved the town. You know, I moved, you know, I had, I was kind of, you know, coming out of college and I'm like, where am I going to go? Am I going to go to, I want to sing and I want to write songs. You know, where am I going to go? Am I going to go to New York? Am I going to go to LA? Am I going to go to Nashville? And so I went to all of them and then, you know, when I went to Nashville, I pulled in and I was home. I, I knew it. I mean, it's like I'd never been there, and I just felt like, God, this is where I need to be. And so I just, um, you know, went down. I got a bartending job like everybody else does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And and then I uh, tried to, you know, just tried to figure it all out. And then, uh, you know, it's got. Uh, I started playing bars, playing clubs, and you know, over the years, and I just kind of established myself and and uh, got told no a lot. And then, uh, you know, one day. You know, I just, uh, I ran into the right people and they heard my songs and, you know, I, you know, after that, it was like, you know, of course I saw Gar, I knew Garth and Tim McGraw, Kenny Chesney, all of us were kind of in town at the same time, you know, and so it was kind of a magical time for, for Nashville. And then, uh, you know, these guys were, uh, they got their deals and, and, uh, and they started making music and they liked my songs and they said, Hey man, let me cut some of your songs. I'm like, ah, I was hesitant, you know, and, First, I told him no, but but all of a sudden, you know, I wised up. <laughs> yes, indeed. And then, you know, then I, then I had a bunch of hits with all these guys, Alan Jackson, Jody Messina, and Tim, and, 
Kenny and people like that. So then it was all, we were off for the races and I got to do my own music. It was really fun. Yes, indeed. Now give us a little insight on this because when you actually, when you went to Nashville, it was, I mean, a, a, a piano player, you know, it, it was kind of in between there. Everybody was standing upright playing guitar and, and they were yeah. kind of uh, in the hillbilly fashion. Was it harder for you to break in the business? Well, I think it absolutely was. I mean, you know, of course, I I play guitar too, but I'm, piano is my instrument. You know, I love it. I grew up listening to, you know, guys like Elton John and Billy Joel and Jerry Lee Lewis and Ronnie Millsap and Jackson Brown. I mean, people like that. And I'm like, man, I'm just, you know, I love being, being a piano player, you know. And, and I guess it was like, look, you're just going to have to, if you're national, you got to slap on a hat and, and play guitar like everybody else. <laughs> I said, well, I don't want to be like everybody else, you know, so. So it was kind of that. That's what happened, and and that's kind of the stuff I had to go through for a long time. And then, you know, once I started having hits, and then people started saying, "Man, you know, you're, you know, you're a good songwriter, and you know, being a piano player it, isn't such a bad thing." You know, so I've always said I was a piano piano man in a guitar town. You know, so that's what I've always kind of kind of said. You know, and I kind of am, but but in in a way, I really kind of like it. You know, it's not it's not bad to be different. You know. Yes, indeed, piano man in a guitar town. Have you written that song yet? I have. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I have actually. You know, it's actually it's a pretty good tune. I wrote it. Uh, me and my buddy Brett James wrote it, and and uh, you know, I think it might be on this new album. So, which is uh, which is exciting to have a new record after you know five years because it's just been you know touring nonstop, and you know, it was just a good time for me to really sort of sit back and you know be be careful and safe and you know, just write a record. I just wanted to write a record. I didn't want to just go out there and just keep swinging out the same thing i wanted to kind of grow as an artist and right right i feel like i really have on this new project so that's a good thing well you're talking about this new project one of the songs on there uh she's on her way give us a little insight behind the uh i guess the inspiration for uh she's on her way well you know i got two daughters so i mean you don't uh you don't need any more inspiration in life than that i'm telling you so it's uh it's been uh it's been a magical thing you know it's you know there's been days where i'm just you know i don't know if i'm if I'm doing this right or not, but you know, I just, I just love my girls more than anything in the world. And, you know, I've just been, you know, tried to be there for them as much as I possibly can for a guy that travels all the time, you know, but you know, they're just amazing girls and I'm very blessed. And, you know, the song came out of that and, and, um, you know, now we're looking at colleges and things like that. And it's just like, it's killing me, you know? So, yes, so it's, a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, see them grow up like that and, and move on. And, and I'll tell you, it's a, man, it's, it's a, it's something. It's doing something to me, I'll tell you. I never thought I'd have, I'd go through this. Yes, indeed. I got two girls myself. It's uh. Well, then I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, but I don't know what it is with the girls. They they do all. They steal your heart, man. They take you. They take. Well, over. it is. You know these these women are so they're so smart. They're so beautiful and they're so brilliant and you know I'm just in awe of them. I mean I really am. I mean every day I'm just going. Like, where did you get this from? I mean, you didn't get it from me. I'm not that smart. Right. You know, so, so it's pretty, it's pretty awesome to see, see it all happen and, and all of this to unfold. And, you know, it's been a, it's been a, um, a really amazing experience. So, I mean, you know, it's a, you know, they've helped me grow as a person, as an artist and, and everything else. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really thankful for them every day. That's for sure. Yes, indeed. Well, a few uh, a few weeks ago, you got to actually uh, jam with Tommy Shaw of Sticks and Hunter <laughs> Hayes. Man, what was that? What was that experience like? <laughs> you know what? It's great. I mean, Nashville is one of those cities where you know you just never know what you're going to get. You know, and you know, Tommy Shaw's my neighbor. It's funny because you know Cheryl Crow's my neighbor. She lives a few houses down. I mean, it's like it's it's like this crazy crazy neighborhood where you got you know Jay Cutler from the Bears and. Um, David Price from uh, Toronto, and you know you got these rock and roll singers and guys like us. And it's just such a weird. <laughs> it's just such a weird place. But I think Nashville's just kind of become this place where people just love to, you know, love to live. And Tommy lives right behind me, man. So, you know, and I, of course, I'm I'm such a huge, huge Sticks fan. I grew up a, you know, huge Sticks fan. So I mean, the guy's a great, great singer, great songwriter. Sings, sings. I mean, he hasn't lost a lick. The guy's amazing. Yes, and is. um so it's just really fun to get to do stuff like that and hunter man hunter's just a talented kid man coming up and and he called and said hey Joe, can you can you come sing with me and do a show and i'm like yeah heck yeah so it's fun how you get these kind of calls you know and um yes, so i mean it's a 
it's a great time, you know, to be in Nashville. It's a great town. Now, Hunter has been around for actually. I mean, now he's he's made more mainstream now than he was a few years ago. But yeah, you know, he's been around. It seems like since he was like two or three years old. But uh, <laughs> is this <laughs> especially here in I Louisiana? Know. I mean, we've been knowing that kid for a while. But is he? Is it fun to go and work with a young and up and coming artist uh, such as Hunter Hayes? You know, it really is. I mean, it really is. We've been talking, you know, about writing songs. You know, for me, it's just such a, you know, I mean, it's inspiring to me, you know, to see that, too. It's like it reminds me of, you know, how I was 10 or 15 years ago when I was first coming out. and You know, and it's like, you know, it's it's awesome. You know, I mean, it really is. And that energy, you just can't, you can't really replicate that, you know, that, that wide-eyed, you know. Right, right. Always like, you know, I always liked that song, Wild Eyed Southern Boys by 38 Special. And I always kind of felt that was sort of me, you know, and I always thought that sort of summed it up for me. But, I, you know, but seeing that, you know, with these kids and is really, really fun to do, too. And, you know, we're out touring, we're out crazy. And then you, know, you get on stage with guys like Hunter and, and you get on stage like with Tommy Shaw or Shaw Crow or whoever it is, man. And it's just a it's just like this synergy that happens, man. And it's just a you can't beat it. It's a lot of fun. Yes, indeed. Well, I got a couple more things here that I'm going to let you go and let you uh, get ready for your performance tonight at the Grand Ole Opry. But uh, no re- real quick, uh, Phil, now, I mean, I usually ask it for advice and everything else. I'm going to do something a little different with you here today. You have your fans here right now. Is there anything you would like to tell all your fans worldwide? You know what? I just, I'm just thankful. I'm just so thankful for them. I mean, I can't say enough about how, how much I love to do what I do and get what I do and for to have folks go, man, I love your songs. And, you know, I love, you know, just in paradise or I love whatever it may be. You know, it's, it's like, you know, that's, that's like you're looking into my house, you know, and writing these songs and just hearing that stuff come from folks is so inspiring. And so it's, it's humbling, man. It really is. It's like, you just go, man, this is, you know, I'm just one blessed human being. And um, and I just love it. I really do love what I do, and I love to play music. And and um, you know, I just love you know to get on stage at night and play these songs and see everybody sing them back to me. I think that's just one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Yes, indeed. Well, Phil, I want to tell you, it's been an honor and a pleasure sitting here talking with you. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for calling in today and talking to me here on backstage with hashtag RDM. And before I let you go. There's a friend of mine, it's her birthday, and if you can shout out Alicia Coward, just say happy birthday to Alicia, I would certainly appreciate it. Hey, Alicia, it's Phil Vassar. Happy birthday, girlfriend. There you go. I do appreciate it, Phil. And yeah, My pleasure, man, my pleasure. Thank you so much for keeping it real with me here today, man. That, that, was, uh, you know, that was awesome. I love it. So what do you play, too? What do you play? You write and play? I play guitar, man. I've been out here. Uh, I started playing when I was about sixteen years old. I'm thirty now, and which I mean, wow, man, it's all cover stuff. But I mean, just I, I just love music, you know. I've, I've never been one to write songs or anything like that. I just love to play. Like the energy. Isn't it fun to play, man? I love it. It's just hey. nothing like getting out there and jamming and playing. I love it too. Yes, well, we could tell. Like I said, we was at the uh, the Bridgestone Arena, and uh, I just walked back in and. You had taken a stage, and I'd never seen you live before. Man, I mean, the energy was awesome. Yeah, it's so fun, man. We we just love to play, man. And we got to get down your way, man. We haven't I haven't been down to Baton Rouge for forever, man. Louisiana, and it's just a. I love that part of the country, man. I love it. I love it. It's like I just I come down there, man. I just don't ever want to leave. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, it man. is fun. It is fun, man. Well, I tell you what, feel like incredible gotta... people. I got a buddy of mine who uh, he's had uh, Ronnie Millsap here. He's had many, many artists here, Shannon Doyle, all those guys. And uh, right. he's always looking to put on an event. His name is Tony Gyro. I know he's looking for – he's going to be doing something here in the next couple of months. I would definitely, definitely throw your name in the hat and tell him to get in touch with you guys. Absolutely, man. Get us down there, man. I would love it. I, I tell you what, man, I'm one of the – you know, I got to go to uh, – to, to see LSU play football, man, on a, at a night game. Yes. And it was like the most unbelievable thing I had ever seen. I've never experienced anything like that. I tell you, it was one uh, unbelievable night, man. We we just had a, we just had a blast. I mean, some of my buddies, my some of my best friends are big are LSU grads. And so 
So I went down with those guys, and it was just good grief. It was something else, man. And they're so good right now, you know. And oh yeah, I mean they had a bad bad week last week, but I mean I still think they're going to be right in the hunt, you know. Of course, so so I mean they're so good, and I tell you what, that <laughs> they got yeah, the best running back yeah. in the world. <laughs> so you're you're an LSU fan, huh? Well, they're just awesome, man. I just love uh, I just. I just love watching them play, man. I just love to tell you, coming to, to, you know, it's like everybody's asked me. And I've been to so many games, and I said, well, I think probably the most unbelievable experience was a night game at LSU and Baton Rouge. I think that, I mean, I had chills for five hours. <laughs> well, when you get about 50,000 coon asses together and they get on that sauce, brother, you in for a treat anyway. So, I mean, you get them all in one place. I mean, that's the end of the world. Yeah, yes, it's indeed. amazing, man. They love it, man. Well, thanks for having me on, brother. And, uh, and and just let me know, me get us down there. We'd love to come see you. Definitely, Phil. And again, man, thank you so much for joining me today. My my pleasure, brother. Talk to you soon. All right, Phil. Take care. He's the man himself. He's an LSU fan, and he loves Louisiana cooking. He said if he lived down here, it'd be about three hundred fifty pounds. But with all that said, Phil, we hope to see you soon down here. For more information on Phil Vassar and the no filter tour. You can go to www.philvassar.com and find out more about all of that. For more information about the Radio Random Network and our weekly programs, you can visit www.radiorandomnetwork.com. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on social media, and uh, sign up for that newsletter because you, we got a uh, got a lot of updates and a lot of good stuff that uh, happens during the week that uh, you can be uh, up to date on. With all of that said, don't forget to join us Friday for the Russell and Mud Tooth Show right here on the Radio Random Network. And I'll be back next Tuesday with, a, with another exciting episode of Backstage with hashtag RDM right here on the Radio Random Network. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Same time, same place, next week. Thanks for listening.